I'm trying to. I'm waiting for this little guy. Like the one time that I've killed one of those without it hitting me back. Which is weird because that's definitely one of the easiest uh, things to kill in a game. Again, I'm about out of topics to talk about for this episode. Um, which is bad because I've, I've gone through four topics already. I talked about the Water Temple actually for quite a bit and there's still more to talk about. Um, I think this game was so far ahead of its time. I know I was talking about that earlier, but really with like everything it introduced and with how little it actually could, like with how little you could actually do with the system at its time, it's really just a great game. I was talking about earlier, Skyward Sword. Um, I'm playing through that and I just finished the Ancient Cistern, which is one of the mid dungeons of the, excuse me, of the game. Um, ooh, actually, yeah, I think I need to go this way. Um, it's one of the mid dungeons of the game. It's when you first get the sacred flame, the first sacred flame, I think that's what it's called, and you upgrade your sword. Um, it's the first one that you do that in. I'm trying to think. Yeah, this is the room I think we need to be in. It's taken me a long time to find this room, which is not probably for the best. Yeah, because this one you need a key to open, and then you need another key while you're in there. And if I'm thinking right, this will lead us to... Yep, this room. Just the room I was thinking about. Um, we're probably on the home stretch right now of the dungeon. No, we don't need to kill all these. We probably could get by on just killing the first two. Or the back two, I mean. But even then, I think we can... Usually we can get in right... Yep. It hit us on. That's all that really matters. I'd kill it, but it's not really worth it. <laughs> um... Yeah, now we're in this room, which has all the mantas? Stingers. Which, I guess we can't... We can only get from this point. Well, we we can only... Well, we can, we can get them from about any point. We can get them over here, but I was just talking about... Oh, fuck you, man. Those things are dicks. Um, this room, for the longest time, I hated. Not because it's difficult, but because it's just long and annoying. You have to go between little things constantly, because... Well, even now, I still don't really like it, but... Just because it's it's really tedious. It kind of does the same thing that the Forest Temple did, and that's that you have to go between little areas... And the thing, the only the thing that's bad about it is that when you jump between areas, you have to swim that little bit. You can't just make it across, um, and that's what makes it annoying to me. See, like now that we have this out of the way, we can pretty much finish the puzzle. But it's still it's still annoying to me. It's never not going to be annoying. Um, but you know that's how it goes. Actually, in the emulator version of this room, it's really the textures are really messed up. Like, the sides of these walls are just, like, pretty much, they're, like, two colors. And, like, it's just a really weird texture. Um, the emulator version of this game actually has really messed up textures if you don't have the right, I think you have to have, like, the rice plugin or something like that. I don't remember what it's called. But you have to have something of the sort, and we just got a cross shot on <laughs> Link. It's something annoying, though, that you have to have. And it's like, ugh, I don't want to have all this... Use, do all this work just to play a game. Well, it's it's really like people don't mind the textures if you uh, are just playing the game, but lots of people LP this game with an emulator because either they don't have a capture card or they don't uh, they don't have a capture card or they don't own the game. Oh my goodness. That was not a pleasant sound. That was really annoying though, because I always, it's just a, such a difficult time to untarget on this for some reason. I think, and that's probably my fault. 
because I think it's, oh, I thought I had one of those diamond crystal things, whatever they are, to hit. And it's probably my fault that, because you can change it, I think, which is weird that they actually made it optional that you, like, you're L-targeting. And maybe I'm actually not thinking of the right thing. Um, yeah, you can see the sculpture right there. What, am I missing any sculptures? I think I've gotten all of them. Let's actually look. Yep, we have all of the sculptures. So now it's just w just the very last home stretch, and we're basically done with the dungeon. This last room should be it should be like the last thing, and then I get to go edit this video. I have two videos to render and one to edit, which would be this one. Um, but they're really, we really just, I think this, you have to unlock this to get to the boss key. Yep. Which kind of sucks, it's like, using a key to get a key. I know this is a point that's brought up by many people, it's kind of a cliche thing to say. Um, but, for the longest time I actually didn't know what cliche meant. Oh, I almost used that. <laughs> nope, almost put those on. Um, but why would Link... Why would Link use a key, like, why would he have to use keys if he has a sword that can probably cut through this stuff, or he could use just fire to, like, burn, melt, whatever, these things down? That's just always been my, that's just always been my, like, question with this, and I guess you could, it's pretty cliche what I'm asking, um, what time are we at in this? Yeah, we're, this is probably gonna be a... Actually, this could, this could be a two-parter, thirty-minute ep two thirty-minute episodes. It's just not much much to ask. It is weird though that I've been doing this for like an hour. <laughs> Wouldn't have a uh, thought it would take me too long to do this, but that's it's the longest. This isn't the longest that's taken me to do this dungeon, and it's not the shortest. The shortest I ever completed this dungeon in was actually um, a little over twenty minutes. Like 25 minutes, I want to say. is midway between uh, 30 and 25. Which is, for this dungeon, is pretty good. Other dungeons, it can easily be done. Like you saw, I did the Four Simple and Fire Temple, both in one part. Um, but here we go. This is a boss room. Brandon, look out. That isn't normal water over there. Yep. What is it? I think actually you do have to like jump on the water. You have to jump on the platform. Yeah, I always thought it was weird. I used to always jump in the water, and then I'd get scared because uh, I'd feel fear. And I wouldn't get scared. I would get weirded out because like it's just kind of it's like why do I have to jump in the water to activate the dungeon or the t t boss? I don't know why that was so difficult for me to say. Mine. <laughs> but anyway, this is the boss battle. Um, let me wait a little bit before I say the name. This is... Oh, man. Giant Aquatic Amoeba Morpha. The, okay, so before we actually really start this fight, I just want to say, this is such a tacky boss battle for such... Like, a dungeon that's difficult for the series. Oh. Uh, like, it's like, why should this be the, like, why would they use this boss of all, oh man, I forgot, I didn't have the big Goron sword out. Um, it's just such a simple boss battle for such, like, an easy, like, for such a dungeon, like, a dungeon that's so much more challenging than the other ones in this game why would you use this like it's it's a really it's not hard to get or it's not easy to get damage really like it's harder I guess you could say or you could say it's easy to get damaged but as long as you see where those little water like little water dicks are you're pretty much safe you really don't have to worry too much about getting injured um, 
You really don't, because these things are really easy to avoid. You see them coming right at you. That's the only damage I'll take in this in this dungeon. Will be from that little dick, uh, those dick spikes. And although I see, it's all it's done. And I actually did get injured because I think that thing bumped into me. But th other than that, it's really not hard to take damage. I think it's a much too simple of a boss battle to really even bother with. <laughs> I think a better suited, like, the Fire Temple had a suiting boss. It's semi-challenging in a way. Fort Temple had a pretty challenging boss and it looked pretty cool. But this one, it's hard to nail a water boss, really. Twilight Temple... Twilight Temple. Twilight Princess did a like, bad job with its water dungeon and nailing that boss battle. It wasn't a bad boss battle. I didn't mind it, but um, it's not a memorable one, really. Like, if I was to talk to you about it, you'd probably be like, wait, oh, that's who that is? After I described it to you for like 30 minutes. Um, but anyway, that's the water temple. We, we have two more dungeons left of this game. And then we're home free on the home stretch. Yeah, we just got done with a little more than the midway point of this game. There's really not not much to do after this. But here we are in the chamber of the stages for a fourth time, right? Fourth. And obviously this is our sage. Because we talked to her before we entered the dungeon. This is your boy, Brandon. Brandon, if I would, I would have expected no less from the man I choose to be my husband. Zora's domain and its people will eventually return to their original state, but not in the time frame of this game. As a reward, I grant my internal love to you. Well, that's what I want to say, but I don't think I can offer that now. Yeah, I don't fuck fish, bitch. <laughs> that, wow, that was, that was really, that sounds so incredibly douchey. I will never say that again today. Or probably ever. Oh man, I'm tired, but I have a lot of energy at the same time. It's really confusing. My body's saying no, but I'm saying yes. Anyway, we just got the water medallion. Well, that's not the end of the episode. We have a couple things to grab, just real quick. It won't take long at all. It'll just be a couple things I can mark off the list. Because really, we really don't have lots of stuff to gather up in the rest of this dungeon, or not dungeon, in the rest of this game. Um, I know, s whatever, se we have 70 skull shields right now, I know 30 still seems like a lot, but in these last couple of dungeons, you get a lot there, and then, um, and then, and just around, you're, it's easy to get them. But anyway, the water level rises, but if we go back to Zora's Domain, it's still frozen there for the, um, rest of the game, which kind of sucks. It does, but it's still cool. But here's Sheik, our little bitch. Um, I mean, this dude. <laughs> Immediately we run to her. Actually, in my old LP of this, this is one of this. This thing I think was a thumbnail. Maybe it was a, it's right there, I think. I think it was the first time that I did a thumbnail, like my own thumbnail in the series. And it was really poorly done. I think I actually made it with... um. What's it called? With GIMP? I want to say that's what it is. That sounds really offensive. Paint.net. I had GIMP. That's a picture right there that I had. But, um... There's some... No? I don't know what it was. I think... I think it was the one that I first said. But I had Paint.net, and I just put text over... Oh, it was this. It was right... Like, right... When she's falling. Um, but yeah, it was, it was just very simple, just a very simple little, um, thumbnail, but I was really impressed with it for some reason, and I really liked it, but anyway, this activates something we can do now that you can only do after you finish the water temple, and that's shooting the sun, the rising sun will actually read the text of this gravestone, which is really fucking weird that they have a gravestone right here. Gravestone. That doesn't sound right. But that's why. Actually, it's not even a, it's not a gravestone. 
when the water fills the shoot for the morning light. Yeah, I, I kinda messed up reading that. That's my fault. I'm sorry, eh? So yeah. With that we get this. And actually the next part of the game um is actually one of my favorite parts and it used to be my least favorite. But now actually I can say that I really do like it. Um although it's a bit creepy. Just be given thoughts about it, it's creepy. But it's also it's not a bad part of the game. It's actually one of the most well made parts of the game, I think. Um, we have a sculpture to grab up here, and then I will be calling in an episode. Um, yeah, I actually got up here. But it could only be grabbed at night. <laughs> so, we really don't have much to grab. Just really minor things at this point. Yeah, I'm sorry. The sculpture just drew up. And with that, we get our 71st Sculptula, I believe. 71st. Oh. Wait. Okay, we do have all the Sculptulas here. So we're just missing these two right here. Um, the Market. And Kakarika Village? Oh, Kakarika Village and Zora's Domain. Which, we will have all of them very soon. So thank you all for watching this episode of Ocarina of Time. I have been Brandon, B, um, Questionable Gamer, whatever you want to call me. And I will see you all next episode. Goodbye.